Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog a day, and today is Wednesday the 4th, yeah, I think it's, yeah, Wednesday the 4th, and today was a beautiful day weather-wise out, a little bit warm, but not too bad, uh, nice sunny day, had just wonderful, wonderful deal, end up um, getting a call from social worker though, saying that my father was wanting to get put into like respite care, wanting to be in like assisted living type thing. They were trying to get him placed in emergency respite care because he wasn't getting the help and assistance that he was needing at um, my brother's house. Didn't know it was nearly as bad. I thought my brother was there every night. It turns out he's not been. And my father's been having troubles like at night. The pain's been kicking his ass. And he's ended up like taking the wrong medication again last night, which I didn't know he's been doing before. So I told her to, I asked her if it at all possible to go ahead and give me 24 hours to figure out what's going on. I told her I'd be with him tonight to take care of it all and make sure everything went fine. Um, to talk to my brother, Nat, and actually I guess I talked to my father first, Nat, and I was over at my grandparents' house, his parents' place. We all discussed it and talked it over, and we're going to move him back down to his own house down at the farm. I'm going to move down there, well, I'm going to go down there and stay evenings, kind of come back home to the day, all that kind of stuff and kind of hang out there uh, with him overnight. His daytimes he does pretty good. It's a nighttime that kicks his butt and his meds get all messed up and stuff because he starts taking the wrong things. His eyes aren't focusing. There's a bunch of problems there. So I'm gonna go down there, take care of all that stuff. I went down today, hauled down a um, chair and footstool and stuff for him. I've got to pick up the lift chair tomorrow and haul that down. The one thing that's freaking me out that I really do not like at all right now is the fact that um, my brother actually got home today and he claims he's going to stay and be available for my dad tonight. Dad told me not to bother coming over because my brother's there and he's actually there tonight, not like he thought he was going to be. And basically I'm kind of just, I don't know, it's 1 o'clock in the morning. It's actually Thursday already, but still do my vlog for Wednesday. And I'm just freaking out that he's in pain and my brother's not taking care of him again. So hopefully uh, he makes it to the night all right. Um, like I said, I've got the farm down there, I've got the air conditioning on, I've got the dehumidifier running and stuff, trying to get the place ready. I kind of did a little bit of cleaning up, but not much. There's just a lot of things. I'm going to go through and scrub the um, refrigerator out. The um, coffee pot is disgusting. It's got mold and shit growing in it. Whoever was down there last made coffee. Didn't bother cleaning it out. Didn't even bother dumping it out. There's like probably a cup, cup and a half of coffee left in the pot. And no more than a coffee pot may it cost. It's like 20 bucks. You can buy you can buy a super cheap one for 10 You can buy a decent one for $20. I'm just going to go buy a new one. It's not worth the money to try and clean it and get the mold out and make sure it's healthy. There's a little bit of an odor in the house that I don't know what that's from. I'm going to get some air freshener stuff down there. Maybe some candles to kind of get some odors going. The house is a kind of a... There's just stuff everywhere um, that i got to get cleaned up. i got to get moved around. All that kind of thing. I've got couple items out of the way he was worried about being in the way when he started bringing in things like the lift chair and that stuff. We have a hospital bed he doesn't want brought down there because he said he doesn't use it. So I'll talk to hospice and get that hauled back to them and then basically if we need it we'll come back and get it later, that kind of deal. So I'm not sure right now. I don't think we're taking that much. We got some TV trays, some clothes. He didn't bring much in town so we don't have much to take down. I'm going to hit Walmart to pick up some more supplies and stuff. He took a lot of stuff into the house, into my brother's place. So I'm going to go ahead and leave some of that stuff there and pick up some new things and got to just, I don't know, just the general stuff. A lot of the condiments and that kind of stuff on the house, I'm not feeling comfortable eating any of those because he tends to leave stuff out for way too long. And I've discussed over the years that with all his alcohol he drinks and stuff over the years, back when he was drinking all the time, the medication makes beer taste bad to him now, so he's not drinking right now. But he's got a bit of an iron stomach for food poisoning that. I don't have that. So we're going to start completely over. And I figure for probably 25 bucks, I can buy all the mustard, mayonnaise, ketchup, that kind of crap we need. And I'm not willing to risk food poisoning where I can't take care of myself, let alone him, for 25 bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and throw all that crap out, scrub out the refrigerator. I've got a couple people offer to help come down and help me take care of that stuff. Not that big a deal, but it's just a bunch of crap. There's a lot of outside yard work I need to do. There's like the, where the dirt's settling where I dug out to replace the water line a couple years back for him that he never kept backfilling it. He could have just brought over a shovel or two as it sunk and kept it backfilled, never did. So there's a giant dip there. It's kind of a dangerous spot to walk, you know, that kind of deal. So just all those things I got to do, I got to figure out a way of getting a lock on a couple other doors that aren't locked in the house that I need to figure out. I've also got to figure out where I'm going to put my computer. I'm going to be staying down there a lot, taking care of him. 
I need internet. I need my computer hooked up. I've got a nice, you know, nice big, you know, 27 inch Mac, iMac that I need to protect that people just come in and out of the house. I don't want them having access to my stuff. My iPad, my camera, some of that kind of junk. I just don't want access down there too. So definitely um, want to help secure at least one room in the house of my stuff and then go from there. So the rest of it's not that big a deal. There's really not much of value, but I want to protect the crap that I have down there. Plus, it's just, it's my stuff. I don't want everybody randomly coming through and doing that. But the big thing is, I want to get him back down there where he feels a little more safe, a little more secure in his own place, and everybody else feels more welcome to come down. You know, either his parents, other people like that, just anybody who wants to come down and visit, they're going to feel a lot more comfortable at his house over my brother's place, because a lot of them, nobody really felt comfortable at my brother's house anyway. So, that's what I really did all day today, was just kind of dealt with him, talked to my grandparents and that, um, hung out with them for a while, discussing what's going on, helped my father in that, and then I basically spent a lot of time down at the farm, getting the house ready, kind of just moving things around, clearing some paths, that kind of stuff. So, other than that, um, I did get my run in for my run streak. I just ran a little, I think a mile and a quarter, something like that. I didn't really look too close. I know it was over a mile, so I think it mattered. So. Got my run in, um, hung out with the dog all day in that. I gotta figure out some place on the farm. I found at least one mouse trap so far that I tripped that I don't want him getting into. Um, father said there was some poison down in the basement I gotta find. He says in some drawers and stuff. I wanna make sure I get that pointed out to where it's at first before I release the dog to kinda have free roam of the house. So as of right now, he was on leash the whole time in there with me, so we'll have to go from there. So anyway, that's all I know for now. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.